Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Robert Presents, the man himself. Just got done a hard day's work, just relaxing. Bob, what is your typical work day? How many hours? Typical work day, I would say anywhere between 10 and eh, 10 to 12 hours, but I try not to do that too much because it pretty much wears my body down. But 10 hours, a good 10 hours. 10 hours. Now, one thing that was I found interesting. Oh, heavy workload. Bob and his wife are staying at my house. They're doing a job on my house. Battery low. And one thing that's interesting is helpers. And you said that you had a bad experience because you can't find help, good help? These young kids today, they want to work. They say they want to work. But when it comes to actually showing up to work and producing, uh, <laughs> it's not really working out, man. They're more interested in getting paid than actually putting in work to uh, get the job done. So if you could talk to a young apprentice right now, there's a guy out there, 19, 20 years old, out of high school, and he wants to do this for a living. What advice would you give him? I would say a good apprentice will become a good mechanic. you got to be a good apprentice first before you can become a good mechanic. So every job that... It, like I, I, me as a mechanic would never tell you to do something that I would that I wouldn't do. I I've, I've been there. I've done it. Everything is just as important as the next step. Everything from from A to Z is important. From cleaning up to prepping the job to installing it to dusting the job down when you're done. And what have you seen from some of your former employees? Well, I had some good helpers, and then I had some uh, guys who were actually doing drugs on my job and trying to and costing me contracts. So uh, my advice to young people would be stay focused, learn as much as you could from you know the guys who have experience, and then one day you can break free and start your own business, if that's what you choose to do. So or can... going to the union or whatever you want to do, or you're even just home improvement for your own house. So what would be the ideal path? So you're 18 years old. Would you say work for somebody oh, skilled? Oh, definitely work for the people who have the knowledge, yes. Okay, and work hard, but yet... Work hard, learn, absorb everything. Don't be scared to do hands-on. Learn the tools. Learn, you know, what the job's all about. You know, a, a, a good floor prep is, is gives you a, a better, you know, product. I mean... Reps everything. So, so if you had that good employee, would you bend over backwards for that guy? Teach him a little uh, more. Yeah, yeah. Good, good help. Get rewarded. Yes, they do. Yeah, right. always flip them some extra money. You know, get buy them lunch, <laughs> whatever. But take care of them. So yeah. it was the yeah. lazy attitude. Yeah, lazy guys don't stay on my crow. <laughs> right. Especially we work. So can you run us through your life history, your work career, how you got to this point as a master carpenter? Real briefly, how'd you start out? And give us a little rundown real quick. Uh, 1987, I got out of the Air Force, and I was truck driver for about a year. And then I seen a uh, apprenticeship program open up for uh, the flooring union. And I was an apprentice for about four years. And then from there, I became a terrazzo mechanic, which is a type of flooring, terrazzo marble. It's a type of flooring that we installed. And uh, you just gather more information on different floors that we do. And you just the more you know, the more you learn, the more you do it yourself, and what you feel confident you can do the flooring, you uh, you progress, and you just you had to be very confident to go out on your own. That's a oh, bold yeah, yeah. move. If you're not, if you're not uh, confident if you're in your own work, then I would, wouldn't even recommend trying to knock on somebody's door to, to do uh, any type of contracting at all. Do you think these kids should go to a school first? Do they need to? Well, that's what the problem is nowadays. There's not too many schools for, uh, you know, the, the building trades. I mean, they're starting to get better. I just say, like, for flooring, I mean, you, you have to go to the seminars. I mean, they're, they're starting to pop up. I know uh, Surfaces has a lot of classes that you can go to. But, Excellent. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the best thing is just to, to join a crew. That's get on I a good do. crew, I, if work I was hard. If I over, I would join a crew. 
you would say work hard, earn respect, don't be lazy up front. Make right. the uh, master carpenter's job. Do every job. job as you're doing it to your own house. And that's that, how I try to work. That's a good philosophy. That's how I try to work, seriously. Was, was there I a... want no callbacks. Once I get done your job, I don't ever want to go back to that job because something's wrong. Excellent. And your, your quality of work's amazing. Everything from what I've seen, fantastic. Well, there you go, we folks. Try. The man himself, Robert Presents. There's a brief history of his uh, resume. So if you're interested in Bob, email him at robertpresents at gmail.com. We'll try to tell you what you want to know. Thanks Bye. again, Bob, for the interview. Bye-bye. <laughs>